During the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan, female service members have played a critical role in gaining support and trust from the local population. Two members of a female engagement team, or FET, describe the challenges and rewards of their unique deployment. Here are Major Sheila Medeiros and First Lieutenant Elizabeth Trobaugh in their own words. I have this strong sense of helping other women, even if they are soldiers, even if they are um, foreign national women, the strong sense of, of the plight of women in this world. I wanted to be part of something important, and what better way to do it than in the 82nd Airborne and being the groundbreaking female engagement team. We needed some type of engagement with the females in the country and they realized that and that's how we sort of evolved with um, the initial security, securing gates and, and then it sort of evolved to civil service and to bridging relationships with the local population, building that trust and confidence. The Afghan man thought it was really bizarre to have women in their ranks, like why would you do that and why are women wearing pants? They just didn't understand. We wore our scarves around our necks, um, you know, with helmet on um, for all missions, so even the men could point out that we were females. We did a good job in the district government. Um, we did a good job raising awareness of women in the area, and nation state building can't happen if you're forgetting 50% of your population. So, this is a counterinsurgency, so when the battalion commander is trying to accomplish all this counterinsurgency stuff and all of his civil and military projects, if, he, if they're leaving out 50% of the population, it's never going to work. So I think the government got wise to that and I think that was our biggest impact was bringing awareness to the districts that the women's voices needed to be heard, that they needed health care, they wanted to go to school and all of these things, um, and that they started to be valued right along with the needs of the men in the community. They just want the liberty to be able to help themselves. At 1500 tomorrow on DOD News, the female engagement team members discuss the dangers of their deployment.